Hello, everyone. This is Dr. Lennon. Uh, I want to take a look at the economic order quantity uh, model in this video. So what we're trying to do here is extend a model from uh, basically uh, a single quantity to multiple quantities where we're given this table, item 1, item 2, item 3, and they give you this complicated cost formula to minimize, but really what you just want to do is you want to create uh, the cost for each item based on this chart and then add them all up and that's what we want to minimize. Um, it also tells us that the budget for the cost per item times the um, quantity per item for all of them added up has to be less than or equal to 20,000. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this to my spreadsheet. I'm going to um, add an extra cell for the uh, this formula right here which I'll show you how to do and then we're going to use solver to figure it out um, once we've applied this formula. So let's take a look at how I set up my spreadsheet. Um, so as you can see my spreadsheet I kind of copied the first chart that they have right here. This matches this chart exactly. Um, and then I did the objective function of each. So as you can see, maybe it'll help if I zoom in a bit. Um, and then if I do the formula, um, the formula here. Let's just look at the first one. So basically what I've done is each of these positions corresponds. Uh, so, so basically we're doing a sum from one to three because we have three different items. So the first term is going to be the cost per item, which is the item cost. So I did uh, B3 times the demand of that item, which is B2. Then I want to do the second term, which is the cost per order for the item. So that's the order cost. I did B4, 150, times the demand. Again, that's B2, so B4 times B2. And then I want to divide by the amount of the item to order. So the amount of the item to order, initially what you start off is you put the dummy variables here. Um, and uh, when we do the solver, that's what we're going to use as our by changing cells. So um, in the formula here, what did I do? I did B4 times B2. I added this quantity column for each of the three items to figure out how much we need to do when we do the solver optimization. And then I divided by uh, the quantity. So I did B4 times B2 divided by EP8. Now we only have one more term to go. I times CJ, CJ times QJ over two. So um, the only tricky part, and this had me messed up for a little bit when I did it, is I want to fill to the right so that way I don't have to keep cop co uh, copying down this messy formula. So this inventory charge, point two, I need to put dollar signs around it so that when I fill to the right, it doesn't move this cell to the right where there's nothing there and uh, maintain it statically at the cell B10. <sighs> So the last one we have to do I times CJ. So I do dollars around B10 for I. I do times B3, which is again the cost per item for item one. And then I do times B8, the quantity to order for item one. And then I divide by two. And that is the objective function. Once you have that objective function filled in, that's all you have to do is fill to the right <laughs> and uh, Basically, that's what I've done here. I've filled to the right. So I, I'm going to get the objective function, the total cost function for each of them. I have the quantity to order. And then I basically want to get the sum of the objectives because it says the sum here, which basically means add from B5, C5, and D5. That'll give you the total cost function. And then we have one more constraint. It says the total of the cost per item times the quantity per item needs to be less than or equal to 20,000. So we'll add that. That's where I have max investment here, 20,000. That'll be one of the constraints on the solver. And that's it. We're, we're, we're basically done. We have the function we want to minimize. We want to change the quantity to order cells. And we want to add the constraints that each of those quantities be non-negative. We want the sum of the CI times the QJs to be less than or equal to 20,000. And that will give us our answer. So let's run that in solver. So control tilde to get me back to my numbers. 
let's hit the solver button. So we have the uh, thing that we want to set minimize. We have the changing cells B8 to D8. We have the fact that we want to keep each of the quantities non-negative. And we have E9 less than or equal to 20,000. So E9 is the Cj times Qj, which is the sum of all three of them. So uh, again, this is a nonlinear problem. So we go ahead and solve it. And we get the values that you see below right there. And let's go back to MindTap and make sure that they match. So again, we had 88.96, 119.35, 64 And uh, the thing that got me tripped up again on this one, these are both round to two decimal places, but the total cost, they want you to round to the nearest dollar. So 389581 gets the job done there. So um, probably uh, in summary, really this looks like a complicated formula, but if you just break it down piece by piece for each item, it's really not too complicated. It's like we have uh, one cost function for each item and then we just need to add the three together and then run the solver as usual and you should have no problems. So hopefully uh, that will get you through this uh, economic order quantity optimization uh, nonlinear problem.